Hello there. For a business that's growing rapidly, I would like to share with you how hiring the wrong person can cost you a lot of money in your business and the common strategies that you can use to minimize that from happening. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Tony Se, the CEO of the online company Zappos, which did over $2 billion in annual turnover, indicated that bad hires had cost his company over $100 million. Businesses cannot afford to make very costly mistakes, especially rapidly growing businesses like yours. Hiring people to expand your team is something that you will need to look for consistently as your business grows in revenue and turnover. However, if you were to hire the wrong person, into your team. The costs of doing that can quickly escalate. Let me share with you how. So what are the risks of making a bad hire? Firstly, it's costs. The costs of recruiting, orientating, and training a person, especially a bad hire or a bad employee, they do add up. And therefore, if you realize that you have to then let them go, rehire, reorientate, and go through the process again, the costs to the business can, can really add up. Number two, the employee morale and productivity suffer. If you were to hire the wrong person into your team and not realize that very quickly and nip it in the butt, that misfit or a person who doesn't fit into the team and doesn't integrate into the culture and ethos of your business would impact on the moral and productivity of the other team members. Number three, the wrong team member can turn your customers away from your business. Hiring the wrong team members to handle frontline work can particularly impact the revenue and profit of your business, and bad customer service can cause customers to take their business elsewhere. Number four, exposure to legal risks. When you hire a team member and orientate him or her into your company, there are labor rules and regulations that pertain to the particular country that you reside in that may govern the systematic correction of behavior, the systematic dismissal of a full-time employee in your business. You do not want to go through that process unnecessarily because it not only impacts on that particular person, it also impacts on a wider team as well. So you would be exposed to such risks if you hire the wrong team member unnecessarily. So how can we ensure that we get the right person into our team? Firstly, when you go through all the resumes and CVs that you get in that job opening, what you need to do is ask for references. You need to check them, you need to cross-check them, ask for their social media profiles and ask for the permission if you can look into them to see how they are and how professional they are. Look at the samples of their work wherever possible. If they can give you samples of their work, they will give you an idea of their approach and the methodologies of actually working and the quality of their work. Do your research and ask the right questions. I've come across employers who prepare a general list of questions that they would ask potential employees. However, those people who take the time to formulate questions that are specific to their business can elicit or can get answers from the interviewee and get a better idea of how he or she would respond to a certain scenario in the business itself. So if you were to take the time to ask the right questions, you would get the answers that you were actually looking for. As Anthony Robbins once said, the quality of your answers that you want is very much dependent on the quality of the questions that you ask. So if you were to take the time and effort to prepare the right questions, you would get the answers that you want. Number three, add an outsider's perspective. Get someone who has worked in business experience to sit down with you to go through the, in through the interview process. That person should ideally not be invested in that position so that he or she can provide you a different viewpoint and a different thought process to the interview itself. Number four, if possible, do not hire on urgency. I know that people hire when they need a position and vacancy filled, but as a growing or rapidly growing business, you can anticipate when these positions will be created and you can then hire according to plan rather than on urgency. That gives you the ability to decide that if the current applicants do not really fit the mold, you are not forced or pressured to take the best one 
on the lot of people who has come in to apply for that position. Don't hire on urgency, hire based on plans wherever possible. Number five, date before you marry. Put a probationary period of three months, six months, if you require for new employees or hire them for a short period of time and see how they perform, uh, how they integrate into the culture of, of your business and on the tasks at hand. Doing this will allow you to better understand or get to know the candidate better on the ground as how he or she performs. Number six, set clear expectations. Know what you want a new team member to achieve in this position for him or her to be successful in it. Set clear expectations and set a proper orientation process whereby any person can go into and be adequately trained in that role. And from there, identify within a period of time whether that person actually fits into that position or not. I know of business owners who have a two-week target for certain objectives that a new employee should fit into that role and then a two-month target. So in two weeks, for example, that person should be able to handle these few things. In two months or in one month, that person could handle these few things. And he then sets that expectation along with the process of the new person to integrate into the company. If you were to make the wrong choice unknowingly, these expectations that you have set will be one of your last stopgap measures to determine whether the person that you have just hired is competent or not to your standards. This is a process that you will have to fine tune and be very, very fair in setting out for both parties, you yourself and the new team member coming into your business. The late Steve Jobs once said, the secret of my success is what we have gone to exceptional lengths to hire the best people in the world. Most businesses do not have that reach of going all over the world to hire the best people. But if you apply these proven steps thoroughly, you would minimize your chances of hiring the wrong people into your business. If you wish to know more about what a business needs to consider when facing exponential growth, you can download the free preview of my book to get the first chapter of that absolutely free. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video soon. I wish you all the best and I'll catch up with you next time.